Hello everyone, Sanket here. Uh, welcome to another video, another tutorial on my channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss and look into what exactly is molecular dynamic simulations. Uh, we'll be performing a tutorial for molecular dynamic simulations uh, using a, a software uh, which is um, called as Gromax. So uh, molecular dynamic simulation was first carried out in 1977 by uh, J. Andrew Mackam. Okay, uh, he performed the simulation on uh, BPTI or also called as bovine pancreatic um, trypsin inhibitor. Uh, the paper was um, uh, published in Nature on 16th of June of 1977. And uh, the PDP structure for it um, was later available after a few years uh, in Protein Data Bank. Um, the, pro the, the PDP ID for the structure, that is your uh, trypsin structure, is uh, 2CGA. So you can go and check it. Uh, so what exactly is um, molecular dynamic simulations? So uh, molecular dynamic simulations is um, a simulation which helps us to analyze the movement of atoms or the molecules. Um, so each and every biomolecule has molecules and they have these atoms. Uh, when we are talking about MD simulation of a biological protein, um, this biological protein is there in our cells. Okay. And uh, you know that uh, all our cells have about uh, 80 to 90 percent of water okay so how do these biomolecules um, react or uh, they behave when they are kept in any particular solution so it can be a water solution or it can be some other liquid solution or how does a biomolecule um, react when they pass through a, a bilayer membrane so this is what all what you can analyze uh, by performing simulations or this is what we call as your molecular dynamic simulations the um, atoms and the molecules which are there okay they interact for a fixed period of time so this fixed period of uh, time uh, can be uh, for a particular nanoseconds or it can be for a particular seconds and this evolution what we see is called as a dynamic evolution so when i'm saying the movement i uh, i mean to say how these atoms or these molecules they move when they interact with the different uh, liquid molecules as you say they are or with the uh, a bile a lipid bilayer molecules as they pass through the cell, uh, cell membrane so all of this i mean by experimentally you can analyze you know by uh, looking at the uh, peaks or looking at the graphs or looking at the color change you can do that but um, when you want to see something uh, actual how a protein is behaving okay uh, that is where your bioinformatics uh, uh, comes into play so uh, you can say your md simulation um, sort of shows a small short movie of how a protein behaves in a, a biomolecule solution so um, your molecular dynamics it uh, it follows a newton's equation okay and specifically it follows the uh, second law of newton's equation where your uh, force is uh, force exerted uh, is based on the mass and the acceleration what is there so that means that if your mass is greater the force which is applied to it will be greater if your force is less the uh, sorry if the mass is less the force applied to it will be less this is the same concept or the same um, funda of your uh, when you are performing md simulations for any biomolecule so if your molecular mass of the protein uh, or the protein of any or any or any other biomolecule for that matter it can be a dna or any anything so if your biomolecular mass is great then the force which is applied for the atoms and the molecules to move will be great if the uh, uh, molecular weight is small <clears throat> then the force which is applied will be so small okay so um, yeah so your md simulations what they do is they follow the second law of newton that is f equal to m a now what are the steps of these molecular dynamics all right 
uh, there are three crucial steps okay there is a creation of the initial step then there is introduction to interaction potentials and third is to predict how a particle will move so this particle can be any of your biomolecule as i stated earlier so the first one that is in the creation of the initial step there are uh, three sub steps one is to generate a topology file for the protein second is to add box and um, add the solvation of the system okay um, add box is you add a box around your protein solvation that means you add water molecules to the system all right um, or any liquid uh, to the system third in your initial step is you add ion so sometimes you know you have uh, biomolecules which do not have a particular charges to them so there are some ions which are less so in this case you can add ions in order to uh, bring equilibrium to the system so these are the three steps in for your initial step then the fourth is introduction of interaction potentials where you carry out uh, the fourth step is where you carry out your uh, energy minimization step okay uh, energy minimization uh, is nothing but where you bring down the overall energy of the uh, biomolecule in order to make it uh, very much stable this energy minimization step you can see if you are when you are performing docking what exactly is docking you can uh, go to my uh, other video of uh, molecular docking using auto dock mina where you can understand how energy minimization step is done but uh, so uh, in homology modeling also you can carry out energy minimization in docking you carry out min energy minimization in md simulations you carry out um, energy minimization and the last two steps is equilibration of the step and your final md production run okay uh, so your equilibration of the uh, system here is nothing but um, e equilibration uh, with constant pressure with constant temperature temperature and constant volume so i repeat again three important things constant pressure constant temperature and constant volume keeping these three things um, constant we run the simulation for your biomolecule what is there so uh, in this tutorial for molecular uh, dynamics um, simulations we will be performing all of these six steps so i think when we perform all the six steps you will be able to understand it much better uh, we will be performing md simulations using a uh, software called as Gromax. This Gromax is a software which is freely available. So this is the tutorial. You can go to Google and type um, Gromax tutorials. Uh, then you can go for mdtutorials.com. You like. You can come here. Um, you can click on the first one that is lysosome in water, and um, then you can click on start the tutorial uh, so uh, we will be going through each and every so each of the steps for the gromax tutorial are given here like the one which i showed you in the uh, ppt slides also so we'll be going through all of them uh, for the commands to be followed in the gromax you can refer to this tutorial and um, uh, copy the commands uh, which are there okay so um, uh, uh, for performing a Gromax tutorial, we would require um, a Linux okay, uh, operating system. So uh, I think uh, let's start with the tutorial then. Yeah, so this is your um, home page for uh, RCSP. Uh, the first thing what we are going to do for lysosome in water is we are going to download the structure for lysosome from PDB. So the PDB ID for lysosome is 1AKI. So we go to PDB, type 1AKI, and then we download the uh, PDB protein. <coughs> so uh, it will be saved as 1AKI.PDB uh, in your downloads. Yeah. So uh, we take this uh, PDB ID and then we create a folder. Probably you can create a folder called as lysosome in water. And then we can save that one aka.pdb in your folder. Now the next thing is we actually start performing your uh, Gromax. How to do it? First, uh, go into the folder where um, 
we are going to perform so it's uh, we had it was in documents and it was in lysosome in water um, yeah so uh, once now i am there here i will start coming the first command so the first command is grep minus v h o h uh, then the name of the pdb that is 1 aki dot pdb then uh, greater than sign space 1 aki underscore clean dot pdb now what it's going to do is it's going to clean the extra water molecules or hoh what is their molecules which is there so as you can say it's a protein preparation step what has been carried out right now okay and you can see that one ak underscore clean dot pdb has been created okay so the first thing where your protein preparation uh, step has been performed okay uh, now let's move to the next uh, step okay the next step is what we are talking about your uh, uh, protein so here we are, now we are going to process the proteins so um, how do you actually process the protein uh, so it's minus f here so we do uh, gmx then uh, we go minus f that is your file here okay uh, minus f file is your one aki underscore clean dot pdb file minus o that is your output will be one aki underscore process so this is the first step if you remember the steps okay uh, it's the the first step is your protein processing step so it is one aki underscore process dot group minus water spc i think there's an error oh it it it, it should be gmx pdb uh, it's not s okay it's p pdb to gmx all right so what we have here are the 15 force fields okay you can see amber charm gromos opls here we'll go for opls okay so we'll type 15 and then click enter yeah so uh, what has happened yeah if you can see you can see your 1ak underscore process dot row you can see your topol dot top topol is your topology file which has been created and your itp file that is your position uh, dot itp files uh, which has been there uh, what i'll do is i'll again show you how to i'll open this topol dot top file for you yeah so this is how a topology file looks like this my dear friends is the most important file okay uh, we'll be requiring this file and uh, needing to open this file um as and when it is so you can see protein underscore chain a which is there and these are the various amino acids and their atoms as well as coordinates and the charges which is there so try and understand this is the one of the most important file now um uh, spc by the way minus water dot spc was one of the water water molecule okay which we had applied now we'll go for the next one which is next step is gmx edit conf minus f um one ak underscore process so minus f is the file input so that is your process dot grow file what has been done dot grow because it's a grow max uh, minus o one ak i one ak i underscore new box so uh, now we are going to go for creation of the box if you remember the second step was is we are creating the box so it is minus c minus d 1.0 so that is the dimensions okay the dimension is 1.0 and uh, let us make it as a cubic shape so that's why minus bt cubic and if we click on enter yeah now we have created the volume if you can see uh, the various vectors uh, the angles uh, how it uh, that is the shape of the uh, box is the dimensions of the box we can see what is the volume what is the uh, system size etc what is the diameter okay and the box which is going to be created is in the cubic format the next step is to add solvation okay so if you understood how the box is created now next step is to add solvation so we do gmx solvate now here in this step we are adding the uh, mo water molecules so minus cp one aki new box so inside this new box the cubic new box we are going to add water so cs sp c 216 so this is one type of uh, water molecules what we are adding so okay so one uh, so this is by default um, uh, what you say grow files which are present inside your grow max when you're installing grow max all of this is initially there and uh, output will be one aki underscore solve dot grow so we are now creating a solvation file with the protein inside and minus p topol dot top this is very important you have to add 
put the topol file so now our topological file that topol.top file is updated and the solvation step has taken place so now we will be having a grow file if you can see um, yeah the first thing is your topol.top uh, this is the topological file which is there if I go down yes can you see there is solve so 18,000 sorry 10,644 water molecules are added okay and your protein chain is um, one which is there okay so we have created the new box we have added the um, uh, 10,644 uh, solvation molecules now uh, what I would like to show you is how it actually looks okay so how uh, does it really look like yeah. so what I do is I open it yeah okay I open this solve.grow can you see this okay in VMD I'm opening this solve.grow can you see the cube shaped the red ones are your water molecules and the one which is there in the blue bottom inside is your protein so this is how a solvation step actually looks like so we are finished right now by generating the topology file uh, that was your uh, one aki underscore process dot grow we are uh, finished uh, doing both creating a box which was one aki underscore new box all right so a new box was actually created and um, and the shape of the box was uh, cubic okay and solvation step which was one aki underscore solve dot grow okay so that solve matlab it added the water molecule so if there was an spce uh, dot grow it is as i told you it's by default when you install uh, grow max lot many um, um a lot many um, you can say backend files are created so one of them was solvation file so um we created the topology file we created the box file we created the solvation file uh, now the next step is what we'll be creating is your uh, ions file so um, in the next video uh, we'll be performing how to uh, add ions uh, to your salt system hopefully you have understood how to create a topology and a box file all right so uh, till thank you